So children, this is the last uh, part in this chapter, chapter number four. You have to make sentences with the first word is friends. Okay, Raju plays with his friends in the evening. Here you can frame sentences of your choice also, children. Okay. Next word is healthy. Playing games keep us fit and healthy. Okay, and you will underline the word also. Third word is scared. Scared means afraid. Mira is scared of dogs. Number four, respect. We should respect our elders. So these four children you will do, and with this we complete this chapter. Children, now we are going to start a new topic in English grammar, that is singular and plural nouns. Okay. So this is the chapter, children, singular and plural nouns. You have done this chapter in the last class also in class two, and now we are going to do it once again in this class. Now look at these pictures, children. Here you can see picture of a girl. Here we have more than one girl, that is two girls. So when we have more than one, we put s. And many girls. When we have more than two, that is many. Then also we write girls with s. Okay. Next example is a mango. Here, children, a or an in English means one. Okay, so one mango we write as a mango. This is a singular word. Plural means more than one. Two mangoes, many mangoes. So both of them are plural. Two mangoes is also a plural word, and many mangoes is also a plural word. Therefore, children. Any noun standing for one person, animal, place, or thing is called singular noun. We have examples here: box, bench, chair, dish, man, ox. And any noun that stands for more than one person, animal, place, or thing is called a plural noun. And children, in plural noun, we have the words in this manner: boxes, benches, chairs. dishes men good morning to all my dear students children today we are going to start a new chapter in english grammar that is singular and plural nouns that is chapter number 9 okay but before that we have one work that is left in exploring english that is framing sentences so first let us discuss that and then we are going to discuss singular and plural nouns okay so children This is the last uh, part in this chapter chapter number 4 you have to make sentences with the first word is friends okay raju plays with his friends in the evening here you can frame sentences of your choice also children okay next word is healthy playing games keep us fit and healthy okay and you will underline the word also third word is scared scared means afraid mira is scared of dogs number 4 respect we should respect our elders so these four children you will do and with this we complete this chapter children now we are going to start a new topic in english grammar that is singular and plural nouns okay so this is the chapter children singular and plural nouns You have done this chapter in the last class also in class two, and now we are going to do it once again in this class. Now look at these pictures, children. Here you can see picture of a girl. Here we have more than one girl, that is two girls. So when we have more than one, we put s. And many girls. When we have more than two, that is many. Then also we write girls with s. Okay. Next example is a mango. Here, children, a or an in English means one. Okay, so one mango we write as a mango. This is a singular word. Plural means more than one. Two mangoes, many mangoes. So both of them are plural. Two mangoes is also a plural word, and many mangoes is also a plural word. Therefore, children. Any noun standing for one person, animal, place, or thing is called singular noun. We have examples here: box, bench, chair, dish, man, ox. And any noun 
that stands for more than one person animal place or thing is called a plural noun and children in plural noun we have the words in this manner boxes benches chairs dishes men oxen so these are the plural words children okay so we are going to study now various rules of changing singular nouns to plural yes children there are certain rules that you need to follow so let us see the rules last year that i discussed same thing i am going to discuss it once again now as you all know singular means one and plural means more than one it can be two it can be many now the first rule says we can change singular words to plural we can change singular words to plural by adding s okay if we add s the word changes into plural like for example children look here this is a singular word tree means one tree okay but when i write here s it becomes a plural word trees so trees means we have more than one tree it can be two or it can be more than two okay so we can change singular words singular means one hai na we can change singular words into plural by adding s see fan fans apple apples everywhere i have added s boy boys girl girls so children the first rule says we can change singular words to plural by adding s what does the rule 2 say we can change singular words to plural also by adding es but where does it apply children where are we going to apply this rule we are going to apply this rule where the words are ending listen to me once again if the words are ending with ch sh th or s or double s x or o in that case we add es at the last place okay let us see few examples look here children bench now bench is ending with ch see i told you see the last two letters bench is ending with ch so we are going to change this singular bench means one bench okay this is one bench so this singular word we are going to change into plural by adding es it becomes benches again you can change into plural by adding es it becomes brushes cloth clothes you read es okay next is bus see i told you even s is there at the last place then also you will add es it becomes buses glass double s is there see double s also so if double s is there in that case also you add es next is box boxes mango mangoes so children rule number 2 states that we can change singular words to plural by adding es to those words that end with ch sh th s double s x or o okay now children the next rule says if the noun is ending with letter y see children if the noun is ending with letter y like lady city baby they are ending with which letter y letter so how are you going to change this singular word to plural by adding i e s and you will remove this y okay here you will not write y if you write y like this it is wrong children okay so if the word is ending with y you will change the word into plural by removing y y ko hata dena hai and you will write i e s in its place city remove y i e s it becomes cities baby remove y you will add i e s it becomes baby babies sorry next is country countries okay children so if the noun is ending with y keep keep in mind if the noun is ending with y you change it into plural by adding i e s this one okay and you have to remove this letter y but there is an exception children what is that exception the exception is children if before y you have to see children yeah yes you have to pay attention carefully if before y there is a vowel then you will not change anything you will just add s no i e s 
in that case see children in donkey before y we have a vowel e so you will write simply s don't write i e s okay only for exception cases we have to do this where y is having a vowel before it same way see children boy in boy before y there is a vowel o so you are not going to change this boy by adding i e s you will simply add s it becomes boys next is monkey see there is a vowel e so you will only add s monkey see there is a vowel e so you will only add s monkeys okay day days toy toys so this particular rule you have to remember children if there is a vowel you add only s if there is no vowel at all then you will remove y and add i e s okay the next rule says children if the word is ending with f or fe at last see if the word is ending with f or fe then what are you going to do you are going to remove this f and you will write v e s in its place so leaf is a singular word if you change this singular to plural it becomes leaves you are going to remove this f and you will write in its place v e s leaves leaves means many okay in the same manner f or f e any one is there any of them you see you will remove f e and in, in its place you will write v e s it becomes knife will become knives when you change it into plural so this is the rule for the words that end with letter f or f e following children you have this in the book also in rule number 7 nouns ending in f or f e become plurals by changing f or f e into v e s so calf will change into calves half will change into halves and this f you are going to remove this don't write this f in the answer okay so this way you have to do but children here also you have some exception cases now you are in class 3 you have to study these exceptional cases also nouns that end in f or f e can be changed into plurals by adding s now here you might be thinking oh letter f is there so it will become roofs are you going to write this no you have to remember these words children you have to memorize them roof will not change into roofs this is an exception case you have to only add s hoof will become hoofs scarf scarfs or this also will be accepted scarfs also is correct cliff will change into cliffs proof will change into proofs so these words you have to memorize children except these everywhere you will add ves this one ves you will add okay if the word is ending with f letter you will add ves everywhere but only for these particular words you are not going to add ves you will only add s this is an exception case you have to remember that same way you have an exception case for words that end with o also children i told you that if the words are ending with o like mango tomato we add es at the last right it becomes mangoes m a n g o e s yes but these words piano photo radio learn it like a okay learn learn this piano photo radio you have to memorize them these three words will not change into es when you change them into plural you will only add s this is uh, acceptable only for these three words children okay not for all the other words so remember that remember memorize it piano photo radio you are not going to add es you will only add s for this okay children now apart from that we have some words that change completely like see some nouns do not follow any of the rules they form their plurals by changing the inside vowels or vowels of the singular like man will change into men women women foot it will change into feet tooth teeth louse lice mouse mice so we don't say mouses we don't say if there are more than one mouse we don't say mouses we say mice goose geese radius radii gentleman gentlemen so this also you have to remember children okay these words they don't form their plurals by adding s in instead they change the inside vowel okay so this also you have to learn children and another important part is look at these words children deer fish sheep moose 
अगेन लर्न इट प्रैक्टिस अगेन डियर फिश शीप मूस नाउ दीज फोर वर्ड्स इवन इफ यू राइट इट इन प्लूरल यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू एड एनी थिंग नो एस नथिंग सिंगुलर डियर इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड डियर वी हैव मोर देन वन डियर ऑल्सो और मेनी डियर ऑल्सो वी कॉल इट एज डियर ओनली वी डोंट एड एस इन दिस ओके दीज आर द नाउन्स दैट हैव द सेम फॉर्म इन बोथ सिंगुलर एंड प्लूरल नंबर्स दे रिमेन द सेम फिश विल चेंज इन टू फिश ओनली वेन यू राइट एट एज प्लूरल ओनली वेन यू राइट एट एज प्लूरल शीप विल चेंज इन टू शीप ओनली मूस विल चेंज इन टू मूस ओनली सो रिमेम्बर दीज चिल्ड्रेन Now we have one more rule. This I will discuss in the next class, children. Okay, today everything I will not discuss. This I will discuss in the next class. Now we have one exercise in your book. Let us discuss that one. Now I I wanted to discuss only some rules, but here in the exercise, children, the questions are mixed and given. So I had to discuss all the rules today. Okay. So here it, you can see all the questions are mixed and given, and you have to change the plurals of the singular. write the plurals of the singular nouns given below so what is the plural of the word city now city is ending with y so what did i say if the word is ending with y you will remove y and add i e s it becomes cities man will change into men lady ladies tooth teeth potato it is ending with o so you add e s book will change into books foot feet penny pennies it is ending with y so remove y and add i e s week will change into weeks buffalo buffaloes shoe will change into shoes i will change into eyes deer just now i discussed even in plural you will write as deer only wife will change into wives w i v e s same way knife will change into it is ending with f e so you write v e s knives mouse mice calf calves why because it is ending with f now sheep will change into sheep only when even you write in plural in the plural also you will write same hero heroes boy now here children we are not going to add i e s because before y we have a vowel o so i told you if there is a vowel before y you add only s boys cow will change into cows pages classes buses mango stories leaves so this i have done till 28 question 1 to 28 i have done and this part 29 to 42 is your homework okay you go through the rules children take your time do not get confused okay very slowly take your time and understand it then you do this question 29 to 42 as your homework and then furthermore we'll discuss in the next class okay children till then have a good day Thank you